start from there. How have you been over over these last few months, years? Yeah. You, you, you're very active on social media. We'll go there. We'll go there. <laughs> but what, what has 2022 been like for KSM? Well, I think that the most critical thing, and honestly, one of the reasons I wanted to be here with you, because I have a very, very important message, and I was looking for a platform that I can deliver the message. And I said, thanks be to God, if I'm 66, maybe there are some important things I can share mm. with, with, with Ghanaians. Right. Especially yeah. the young people. Especially the young to, people. Yeah. You know, and um, my nephew, I'm, I'm sure you probably know, but I've been through uh, a battle with prostate cancer yeah. in the last year, you know, and actually, to summarize it all up, I actually had to go, I was in the US and I had to go through protest to me. I think that's what they call it, the radical pro right. protestomy. Or, you know, that's a very radical surgery to get rid of your entire prostate, you know. Wow. Yeah. And it started when a friend of mine told me um, he was now working with the uh, American Rejuvenation Center or something. So he wants me to come and do a checkup, come and take your PSA. Let's take yeah. your test. T T testosterone? Thank you. Levels. So, I, <laughs> I never was able to mention that. And I kept stalling. So one point I said, okay, I'll go, you know, like I'm doing him a favor. Yeah. And when I did the checkup, the guy said, actually, your PSA levels are very, very, very high. Wow. And I'm not comfortable with your PSA level. I knew they were going high, but honestly, I feel well. Every morning I go on my walks or jogging. I do at least every morning, at least 5K walking. Wow. Every day. Before I came Every here. day? Yes. Weekends included? We, we no, no, no. Monday to Friday. Monday and, to Friday. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know. So I felt well. I felt everything. So when he kept saying, come for a test, Mr. when I said, I'm okay, you know. So I did go for the test, and the doctor came and said, well, the PSA levels right. are uncomfortably high. And when it gets to that high, I personally, I like to do a biopsy to make sure that not only do you have an enlarged prostate, but there are other issues related. There could be other underlying. We could be cancerous anyway. Right. You know. And I said, okay, fine. But that same time, I was going to go to um, the U.S. to see my daughter's wedding. So no wedding, graduation. You know. So I told her, I'm coming for graduation. I'll come. I'll be there. But find me a doctor because I'm supposed to do a PFC, bi biopsy. So when I get there, I can do it. So to cut the long story short, I did my biopsy when I went to see her in the US, and then we had a meeting with the doctor, and the doctor says, yes, we have done the biopsy. Not only do you have a, an enlarged prostate, but you do have cancer. I said, wow. Yes. And here's the thing that I, I really felt it was important for me to come here, Benjamin. I didn't have any symptoms. Nothing. Nothing. I go for my walk. No tiredness. No tiredness. No lack of appetite. No lack of appetite. Like no blood in stool. No blood in urine. No painful ejaculation. All of this is supposed to be. Did, did, did it affect your libido? In <laughs> <laughs> no. Your libido wasn't affected. I was good. Hey, Masa. You know, so I, I wasn't worried about anything. But when I went for the biopsy and the test results came, they said no. It doesn't look good. Wow. Yeah. And so, so, so when was this? Last year? Yeah, this was last year. Gen last year, January, actually. That's when I went for the test. Was this the first? I mean, you, you spoke about always wanting to check other things. So this wasn't the first time you were checking your PSA. I do check out the PSA, but it was sort of rising. But not, I didn't care mm. because I was well. I do my workouts. I don't have any of these symptoms, you know. Um, okay. You know, getting towards it, I started incurring. The only symptom I had was frequent urination. Okay. You know, with every one, two hours after urinate. So that's what I, I realized that there's Something some difference. Be. Yeah. Other than that, none of the symptoms. And none. It's, it's, it's very important what you're saying because, first of all, nowadays, some 30 year olds and stuff are getting prostate cancer. Yes. At my age, I mean, this year, yes. I've done a PSA. Yes, please. Because we must start please. doing these. And please. no, thankfully, it was a very, very low, incredibly yeah. healthy rate. Fantastic. But most people in their 30s now, 40s, are getting susceptible to some of these. Yeah. And I hear there's something to do with um, 
Africans and African Americans. Yeah. You know, there are different diseases and different mm -hmm, races mm -hmm. that are susceptible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apparently, we have some susceptibility. Yeah. So, so with everything we eat and yeah. for some people, lack of exercise and all of that, we yeah. all have Thank to you. get Thank into you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So this is going for all black men, especially, Charlie. If you are listening to us right now, you are above the age of 30, especially above 40. Please go and do your PSA checks. Please. Very, very important. You may not feel anything. And Benjamin, what I realized was that there's a difference between there's the different difference between being fit and being healthy. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a fit guy. I go for my walks. Uh, every day and then I'll do even debris mountain and yeah. I, I am fit. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> it appears the chair is leaving you <laughs> for all your fitness. <laughs> I am fit, mm. but I wasn't healthy. And, and there's, a, there's a stark difference between that. There's a stark you, you So you can be fit, your vitals can be good and everything, but maybe you have a kidney problem that you're not aware of. Maybe there's something going with the liver that you're not aware yeah. of. And only checkups, please, oh, only checkups can help you find these things out. Okay, so, so I will allow you to sit properly yeah. while I actually <laughs> engage. So we're, we're having a conversation, it's a bear it all conversation with uh, KSM who joins us in the studio. What then would you say this has taught you? Just briefly on that to, to conclude on the health bit. Please, and the, maybe what, the, what would be your caution to other men? The out? only thing that taught me was that I thought I was fit and healthy, but my checkups made me realize that yes, I was fit, but I wasn't healthy. I had a health crisis, you know. So how are you dealing with that?